If you ask me to describe the Black Ops 4 Zombies map, Alpha Omega, with one word, it would probably be forgettable. Even amongst the other maps from Black Ops 4 that have been swooped under the rug, this map seems particularly forgotten. So I've decided to hop into a game of Alpha Omega and see if I can beat the Easter egg. All right, here we go. We're on the iconic, the absolute classic. When you think of Call of Duty Zombies, doesn't your mind just instantly go to Alpha Omega? Like, it's the first thing I think of. I don't know about you. All right. Okay. Goal is to do the Easter egg here. I'm probably going to go for one of the Mark II variants as well, just for fun. Although, honestly, you can easily do the Easter egg. Like, it's almost easier to not go for the upgrades than it is to actually go for it. But I think I'm probably going to go for the, the dual wield uh, Mark II, just because I feel like it's the most iconic. At least for me, when I think of the most iconic part of Alpha Omega, my mind instantly goes to the to the dual wield Ray Gun Mark II. So I'm going to go for that and uh, and live out the experience, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to go this way first. Uh, I know there's a shield part. Bear with me, I definitely don't remember where every single part is on this map by heart. Oh, here it is. I must, I must have looked past it. Get, yeah. uh, double points. Get my points up here. Oh my, that's so many points. This is why we love the strife, boys. This is why we love the strife. Free melee points on early rounds. Basically, the only, the only two things we need to build are the teleporter pad, and the, uh, and the shield, of course. So if I could just remember where those six parts are, I think we're good to go. I guess while I'm over here, I might as well uh, turn the power switch on and actually saturate the map. There we go. Now it's a little bit less ugly to look at. I'm doing really good on points right now. Okay, we got the, the blue little hellhound dudes. Absolutely just rip through these zombies. Oh, here's the shield part. Okay. I know a teleporter pad spawns. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Insta kill. Not necessarily useful, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna make my way underground. Okay. Believe that there is a shield part in here, right? Uh, just where exactly does it spawn? Right here. There we go. Yeah, see, I kind of remember. I have played Alpha Omega fairly recently, so it's probably why I'm not completely lost right now. Like, fairly recently, as in, like, a month or two ago. I'm not completely out of the Alpha Omega loop right now. Bro, it is so hard to see when you're doing this stuff. Like, there's just so many Novacrawlers. You know, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just Ragnarok this. I forgot how long this took. I feel like I've been down here for, like, my entire life at this point. Nuke, I don't want that. Oh, my. Alright, there we go. I think it's probably, like, a full minute. It's like a max. Alright, grab the nuke. I'm good to go. I'm gonna go get pack a bunch now. Not to be that person complaining about a, a four-year-old zombies map, or three years old, however old this zombies map is. The pack a bunch system on this, on this map is definitely not good <laughs> oh my like standing here to turn a lever or a, a, a knob definitely not the funnest thing wraith fires definitely make the world a better place uh when doing stuff like this though so this is why i feel like black ops 4 is like kind of has some sort of balance going for it like you have to stand on a lever or you, you, you have to stand on like a, a knob and stand completely still for like 10 seconds which in any other in any other game of zombies would be like a ridiculously hard task because it spawns in like extra zombies while you're doing it but in black ops 4 a game where you have like wraith fires and stuff it just it's just nice you know it kind of feels at home i feel like it's relatively balanced it's not necessarily fun but i wouldn't say that it's uh i wouldn't say that it's exactly imbalanced you know what i'll go for one hit on the box just to see what i get oh my god okay wait i gotta go for one more now <laughs> Mazu. You know what? We're rocking the Mazu. I don't even care. I feel like I gotta make it a tradition in all of these Black Ops 4 videos to use the Mazu at least once. Okay, I need to end the round. There we go. Get my boy Rushmore on here. Okay, I just need to get these four different codes. I'm gonna need the key here. And then there's one code over here. 6410. Okay. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think it's down here. Oh, there it is. Bro, I cannot find this code. Uh, 7145. I think I'm honestly just blind because I'm pretty sure I looked at that table like 20 different times, but it's okay. I knew it was in that room somewhere. Okay, I do believe that the last one is up here. Just gotta open up the drawer. 5805. Might as well get the shield going while I'm thinking about it. 
Now we just gotta enter in 18 different codes. And that's basically the entire Easter egg is just entering in code after code after code. I genuinely feel like you spend more time typing in codes to rush more than you do actually shooting zombies on this map. Okay, we're done. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna have to open up this up and I'm gonna need the Galva Knuckles for this next step. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the entire first step, then I'm gonna go for the Mark II upgrade. I think that's the move. We just acknowledge for a second how dirty they did Galva Knuckles on this map. Like this version of Galva Knuckles is so much worse. Oh God, need to be a little bit careful here. I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. One, one, zero, zero. Yes, we get more codes. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why they have so many codes on this map. No, but for real, this map is literally just get the code simulator. How many codes can you keep track in your head? Okay, I believe that this is house A. Uh, I always do forget. I'm 90% sure this is house A. I'm gonna just go with it. Basically, if you don't know, you get a different code for each house and all the houses are labeled by letters. And then you have to input the code into this clock. So the first code is 11, like 1100. So I basically have to put in 11 o'clock. And you have to do that with every single house. All right, that should be it. 11, yeah, there we go. Okay, next house is the F house. And the F house is this one over here. You gotta enter in 530. Okay, just do that once. Next is the D house, and I gotta enter in 345. Where is the clock at? Uh, there's that one. Then I gotta go in this house, enter in 945. The, the cool thing about this house is it gives you a free ray gun mark too. So, you know, they give you at least, at least this house gives you something for your troubles. Okay, I'll take that. And then this house is pretty cool too because it gives you a free upgraded gun. Uh, what is it? Gives me a, what is this, a Titan upgraded? I mean, I'll take it. It's better than a non-upgraded gun, right? But then the step is still not over because then there, there, there's six clocks and you only get five codes. So then you have to go to the last house and get the last code and enter it into Rushmore. Bro, I'm telling you, it's literally non-stop codes. Like the entire thing is just code after code after code. I guess it's supposed to kind of fit with the aesthetic of the map, but I don't know, dude. Just a little bit, a little bit too much, uh, too much numbers for me. I'm gonna need cryo freeze on my gun if I wanna upgrade my uh, my Mark II here. Please give me cryo freeze. No, kilowatt. Okay, one more try, one more try, come on. No whammies, no whammies. Give me the cryo, give me the cryo. No whammies. No, dude, brain rot. I'm gonna need brain rot later. Hey, for the Easter egg, I'm on the red Nova crawler escort step, which is one of my least favorite steps. It's very annoying to say the least. If you don't know, basically you have to escort a red Nova crawler and if you accidentally kill him, then it resets the step and, and the Nova crawler doesn't necessarily like actually follow you. He takes forever. He is very slow. He takes his good old time and there's, you know, you got to do it in the middle of a round. So it's not exactly fun. Also, I don't have any perks yet. Kind of wish I had some perks going for me. You know, this upgraded Titan is not too bad. I'm not gonna lie. Although the last thing I want right now is brain rot because I do not want it to accidentally kill my Nova Crawler. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop it again. Please just give me the Cryo Freeze. I would love you if you gave me Cryo. Dude, really? Bro, what is my RNG? Oh, here he is, here he is. Okay, I gotta bring him this way. Okay, I did. I'm gonna try to not kill any zombies just in case I accidentally kill him here. I'm gonna try to play this as slow as possible. He, he, he like keeps stopping to like shoot at me. So it's very, very tedious to not accidentally mess this up oh my god dude here we go come on little guy come on come on little feller oh he's running now he's running he means business i feel like as long as you don't sprint as long as you just like casually walk backwards it's actually not too bad there we go i would honestly say that, that was probably the most annoying step of this entire easter egg from this point on it's pretty straightforward and honestly that is relatively straightforward as well i have exactly enough points to Upgrade this one more time, please. I, I would love you forever if this is cryo freeze, please. Dude, <laughs> oh my God. It's gonna take me like 10 tries, I already know. I'm gonna accidentally complete the Easter egg before I manage to get cryo freeze on my gun. Okay, I need to go to storage and I need to get me my boy, my man, the man, the myth and legend himself. Got my boy Adam going, hell yeah. Then we just gotta take 
our boy Adam and we got to find Marlton because Marlton is just still in this bunker for some reason. I don't actually, what is the timeline of Marlton being in this bunker? I don't necessarily understand it. I'm going to be honest. Yo, Adam, come here, boy. Sick him. What you doing, chief? All right. <laughs> Anyways, so Marlton tosses you the, the, the thing. Okay, got to place the container on this random shelf for some reason. Move, Adam. Bro, Adam literally just comes in, steals all your kills, and then gets in your way. That's all Adam's good for. You know what? I, I've changed. I absolutely hate Adam. Oh, you know what? I really should have put the katana on for this. I wasn't really thinking. This next step, you pretty much have to run really fast across the map. And it's a lot easier to do if you just have a katana. But I uh, I, I wasn't really thinking. And I just like have the Ragnarok on. Either way, I'm going to need stamina. Okay, I need to place one telepad there. And the other one has to go over here. I Literally, I'm like progressing through this Easter egg so quickly. I, I just still, I just really want to upgrade the Mark II but I just can't get lucky and get cryo freeze. Okay, one more try, one more try. Come on, give me cryo freeze. Come on, cryo freeze, please. Kilowatt, dude, my, bro, my RNG is so bad. Please, please, firebomb. I literally might just abandon the idea of trying to get the Mark II upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the next step of the Easter egg, I guess. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, let me grab this. Oh, oh, I have it. No, I choked. Go, 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 go. I'm no way I make this. Oh, I did it. Oh my God. I didn't realize how much of a window you have. <laughs> not only do I not have like super stamina, I also like completely messed it up at the start and I still made it. I always thought the window for that was much tighter than it actually is apparently. All right, all right, pack a punch. I know we've had our differences, but I'm willing to put that all aside if you give me cryo freezer right now. Oh my dude it's funny because i'm on the brain rot step of the easter egg if i get brain rot i might as well just go for it yeah i'll, I'll go for one more path like legitimately i said it as a joke earlier that i was gonna finish the easter egg before actually getting cryo freeze but it's looking to kind of like actually be possible oh my god i get brain rot i'm doing the next step of the easter egg oh well all right this step is another classic code step you basically got to get a brain rot zombie to knock down these paintings and right, it's there we go. You know, it's kind of starting to hurt me that I don't have all four of my perks yet. I could really use some speed cola. Okay, first code, 5596. I'm gonna grab time slip, because why not? Oh, apparently there's my dying wish. That sucks. That's my bad. I thought I had time to buy time slip there. Apparently, apparently I did not. Okay, grab winner's whale. Got all my perks. We're ready to go. No cryo freeze inside. Who needs it? All right, here's the next poster. Okay, four, two, eight, eight. I believe the last poster is, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure it was in this house. Okay, uh, there we go. Zero, two, eight, nine. Back at my comfort zone, typing in codes to rush more. There we go. Please, just please, just please, just please. Cryo freeze, please. Cryo freeze, please. Thank you, dude. Round 16, round 16. That was so many attempts at trying to get this. So many. Now I just gotta, uh, I just gotta charge up these TV soul boxes. Woo, dude! Never in my life did I ever think that I would be going for the Mark II upgrade on round 70. In wait, do dogs count for this? Probably not. Oh, they do count. Let's go. Give it up for dogs. There we go. Two. Okay, there's the second number. Third TV. Oh God. Luckily, these only require like. I don't know, like five souls each, maybe like six. This number four. Is that enough? There we go. Nine. Oh my god. Woo! Two, one, four, nine, enter. There we go. Grab one of these. Okay. And basically, this is the entire reason. This like we're coming up to why I actually needed cryo freeze. Okay. All right. Basically, I come down here and there's gonna be like okay, yeah, th these glowing, these glowy boys. I gotta kill the glowy boys with cryo freeze. Oh my god god and then melee it oh bro there's just so much like toxic stuff just happening like what is this okay there's a glowy boy gotta melee him grab that nova crawlers are the worst thing to ever exist on every map ever like why do they need to exist they literally make playing zombies a literal chore i feel like i want to be able to see my screen sometimes you know what i mean okay here's another glowy boy right i believe he was a glowy boy take that yeah okay there we go we're done okay Gotta put him in there, I guess. 
And then I think it's just a soul box step from this point on. If I remember correctly, it's just a soul box step. And I don't think there's anything else I have to do after either. Yeah, I th it's just soul box. I wonder how many souls this is. Honestly, don't remember. It could be like 50 for all I know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'd say that as it ends. Grab that. I think it was literally like 10 zombies. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, this alpha omega like toxic shit. Like the fact that all the zombies are just like super speed at like all times is so annoying, dude. Come on, please. Come on. There we go. Oh my. I think what they were going for to like repair the generators to make sure that Pack-A-Punch stays on. It's, it's kind of like how Origins works, except it's so much more tedious in my opinion. Like it's so much more tedious to stand at these like knobs and just hold F than it is to just like, you know, power up one of the generators on Origin. Come on. There we go. Got pack a punch bag on. All right. Now I should be able to craft the Raygun Mark II X. There we go. And I get the achievement because I have not done this yet on PC. This thing's this thing goes this thing goes crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If I'm not wrong, I think the Mark II uh, X is probably like one of the worst ray guns. I think I remember it being like one of, if not the single worst Mark II upgrade. I might be wrong. I, I might be talking out of my ass. I think there's like two or three more steps before the boss fight. You know, Alpha Omega, it's honestly like, it's not a bad map. There's nothing I absolutely hate about Alpha Omega. There's some things that I find annoying, like the excessive amount of Nova crawlers, how kind of annoying the Pack-A-Punch system is. But honestly, my main complaint with it is that I just don't love it. Like there's nothing that I love about it. All right, Lounge needs to go down. Lounge is down. There we go. Basically, you gotta you gotta turn these levers. There's six levers, and you gotta turn them all the right direction. Okay, there's one in here. It's supposed to go up. Uh, I forget where it spawns in here. Here it is. Uh, flip that. There we go. This one needs to go up flip that but yeah honestly 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 at the end of the day it's just like if i want to get on black ops 4 if i'm really if i'm really in the black ops 4 zombies mood there's no shot that my first instinct is oh yeah i'll play some alpha omega uh this one needs to go generator goes up okay that's right storage goes down uh where's it in storage here it is Okay, and then in solitary, this one goes down. There we go. Got them all green. You know, honestly, I think I, I think I would really enjoy trying to figure out how to do that puzzle. I really like switch puzzles like that. They're, they're a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I always just look up the guide because, you know, why not? There we go. Get the power back off. Okay. Activate Rushmore yet again. I, I like the idea of Easter eggs where you keep coming back to like one person and he kind of tells you what to do. You know, that's how Tagged or Toten was. That's how Call of the Dead was. There's a bunch of others in Zombies history. But I think the one, I, I think the one thing about the Easter egg that turns me off is just entering in codes. It's so boring. It's like every two seconds I'm entering in a code. I wish, you, you know how in Mowered or Toten, how when you're entering in the, uh, the Cerberus upgrade, you're like basically invincible because the zombies won't hit you i wish i wish it worked like that on this map that would be really cool my next part of this easter egg is to interact with these mannequins and we got to do some lockdowns i i feel like there i feel like this is not a really good version of the mark ii i feel like it's just not that great these lockdowns could actually get fairly hard gotta focus up just a, just a little bit during these lockdowns all right we're done with this grab the arm okay, here's the next mannequin Okay, yeah, this is when lockdowns get hard, when you're in these, like, tight little rooms here. Okay, I'm gonna just use my, uh... I'm just, we're just gonna use the, we're just gonna use the Ragnaroks. I'm gonna play it safe here. I'm tempted in the next time I play Black Ops 4 for one of these videos to do a classified 150. Still, to this day, I've never hit round 150 on classified. Okay, grab that arm or whatever I just grabbed. I don't even know. Okay. Here's the third mannequin. Bro, I honestly feel like these ray guns are weaker than just a regular ray gun mark too. Am I crazy for saying that? I feel like I'm crazy. Like I feel like per bullet, like per individual shot that comes out of the mark two, it does like less damage. Maybe it's just cause it's round 21. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh I'm, I'm literally dead. All right, we stand in the corner. We stand in the corner and wait. I'm a pro Black Ops 4 gamer. Everything you just witnessed right there was done by a professional. It, 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 it takes some serious strategy and thinking to be able to pull off what I just did. Okay, I got the head. Now I got to build this boy. What's up, boy? We're going to do the big brain strategies. Three, two, seven, nine. 
enter. If you don't know, that basically activates an undead man walking. So all the zombies will be like at walking speed, which makes this step a lot easier. Basically, it's another escort mission type step. Uh, I got to find an orb that's in a window and I always forget like where this orb spawns. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. Basically, we just escort this boy all the way back to Peter McKinn. And it should be really easy with all the zombies, like, literally at walking speed. Oh, I just realized I'm really low on ammo. I think after this step, it's it's uh, it's boss fight time. Like, this is literally it, pretty much. Come on, Orby. You got this, Chief. You got this, brother man. What does this orb represent? Is it supposed to be, like, Peter McKinn's soul or something? Like, what exactly is this? I think it is. I'm in the orb. Let's go, Peter McKinn. You know what? I am 100% willing to go into the boss fight with 41 bullets. I'm okay with this, you know? Activate APD. I forgot about the mannequin zombies. Bro, mannequin zombies eat, dude. They don't mess around. They, they Look how chunky. Like, look at this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen shots, dude. Mannequin zombies are crazy. Yayo! Avocado. Avo Av avocado why is he just vibrating look at this boy he's just like he's just like shaking his little head around he's going okay begin soul capture if you don't know how this boss fight works it's basically four separate lockdowns and then in the end you shoot the avogadro into the pyramid it's relatively straightforward except the problem is is that i'm completely out of ammo that this is where the problem lies i'm gonna have to get through this first lockdown without any ammo whatsoever basically there we go max ammo Woo! okay I, I think i got i got the first lockdown done oh wait i didn't get a max wait what just happened Wait, what just happened? Why don't I have the Mac? Was there not a max ammo there? I'm so confused, dude. I also just dying wished for no reason because I was like panicking. Well, that's super unfortunate. I have no idea why I didn't get the max. I actually don't know how I'm going to do this next part. Here it is. Let's just go for it, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to use my equipment. Like, I don't know what else to do at this point. Come on, Wraith Fires. Go, Wraith Fires. Go. Okay, I got, a, I got another Ragnarok. Thank God. Oh, Max, dude, please actually give me it, give it to me this time. Okay, there, I actually have ammo. Finally. Oh my god. That was so stressful. I literally had to go through a lockdown with just Wraith Fires. That was so bad. All right, here we go. Next soul capture. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right, literally last soul box here. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. You literally have- it, it's actually really hard to not get shot by the Avogadro. Or maybe I'm just bad at the game. I think I'm just bad at the game, actually. Can you- can you- can you stop shooting? Like, why does- why does the Avocado have absolutely no chill whatsoever? Like, just- just- just chill out. Just relax. Stop stressing. I think the Avogadro just needs like a- he just needs like a back massage, you know what I mean? Like, he just needs somebody to like, come in and like, relax him. Okay. Come here, boy. Okay, just gotta shoot him in there, boy. Get in there, get in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm kind of low. I need to be careful. Okay, he's going this way this time, I guess. Ow. Bro, see, this is another this is another one of those times where I really wish I just had a katana on instead of uh instead of Ragnarok. You could just like slash him in. Super easy. Uh-oh. I need to be careful. I'm out of ammo. Bro, I'm just out of ammo, like at all times. Wait, what if I like right click him in? He's stuck in the corner. Bro, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> okay, this dude is like stuck in the corner and I don't know what to do about it. Oh my God, how do, how am I not down? Oh, I should have went down there. <laughs> I messed up. Okay, okay, this is it. I have a strategy right now. I have a strategy, watch. I gotta shoot him in with a Titan. Go this way, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That was the method. Literally just use the gun, you know? These ray guns weren't really cutting it because I kept running out of ammo. And Ragnaroks weren't working. So I guess I guess the move was just to use the gun. Okay. I'm gonna activate kill the Avogadro. Or actually don't don't we send the Avogadro back to transit or something? Don't understand the story whatsoever, but uh it was a lot of fun. I had fun doing this. 
I will gladly claim the elemental shard. The YouTube algorithm thinks that you would like to watch this video next. Maybe you should try it and find out.